Hello Cougar Nation, Greg Rubel with you, and I am back on the road with the BYU women's soccer team, and we were in Norman, Oklahoma for Monday night's match against the Oklahoma Sooners. And this is Ellie Walberg. Hi, Ellie. Hi, how are you? I'm very well. Good. This is the starting 11. Starting 11 is 11 questions that are carefully curated to find out more about these BYU women's soccer players, eighth ranked Cougars, by the way getting ready to take on the Sooners on Monday night. Ready for this? I'm excited, yeah. I've been waiting. <laughs> Now's your moment. <laughs> All right, of these 11 questions, question number one has been the same for every player. It's the most basic one. Okay. They get vastly more difficult after one. Question one, where were you born and raised? I was actually born in Denver, Colorado. Um, I was there until I was about two years old and then I moved to Utah with my family and I'm from Highland, Utah. That's where I say I'm from, so. Okay. Question number two, is Ellie short for anything? It is not, it's Ellie, nothing short. Straight up Ellie. Straight up Ellie. Not Eleanor, mm -hmm. not Ellen. My Ellie. mom calls me Eleanor every now and then, but it's Ellie, Ellie. E-L-L-I-E. Correct. Ellie. The best name. <laughs> question, I won't argue it. Uh, question number three is a trick question. Oh no. Where did you play high school soccer? <laughs> I actually didn't play high school soccer. I went to American Fork, but I never played high school. I actually played with the boys at La Roca. Um, just, I felt that was a better fit for me, and yeah, I loved it. It worked out. It worked out, it for sure did. Question number four. Which teammate is your most frequent seatmate on the team bus? <laughs> Aaron Bailey. Aaron Bailey, EB7, we're always, we always sit next to each other. She's pretty low key, isn't she? Low key, yeah. Flatliner, yeah, you know, not I, much emotion. <laughs> not like this, no. Yeah, really yeah. quiet, keeps to herself. Yeah. She's the best, best bus partner ever. All right, question number five. What's your most enjoyable BYU class? Ooh, it's a hard one. Um, I took my marketing, like intro to marketing class last semester, and that's what I want to do. And mm. I felt that was the best. It was the most interesting to me. So I love it, and I'm excited to pursue that in the future. Okay, so professionally, you might end up in that realm. Yeah. Okay. That's the hope. Very good. Question number six. How special was scoring against UCLA? Oh man, it was awesome. Uh, I just like always, I always look back on that video and it just chills every time. It was so surreal and I mean, it was awesome to celebrate with my teammates and the fans, it was just unreal. For those who maybe aren't aware, uh, why is that question uh, pertinent to you? A little yeah. background there. I was actually, at my freshman year I was at UCLA and to have them at Southfield was incredible and Score my first touch, first goal, it was great. Okay, question number seven. What qualities define a national championship team? Yeah, that's a good question. And now why is this one pertinent to you? Well, yeah, I actually won a national championship with UCLA my freshman year as well. I think some qualities is just hardworking, um, like championship mentality, I think is a big one. Just having that realm of like knowing that we are capable of something big and this team is, and that's what we're on the path to do. So. Yeah, bringing it, flash, flashing it forward. You feel those things about this BYU team. For sure, 100%. Yeah. Question number eight. After soccer, what's your next best sport? Best sport? I love pickleball. Um, I feel like I would be really good at pickleball, but I love to play baseball. Mm -hmm. I love to, I think I'm good at it, but <laughs> I'm not, but it's fun. Okay, you boys enjoyed it? Yeah. Okay, uh, question number nine. What is your favorite professional soccer team? Ooh. Manchester United, come on. I'm a big Rashford fan. He's my boy. Um, Manchester United, my dad, my brother, whole family, love them. Have you been to Old Trafford? I have not, not yet. My dad and brother have, but they... No, you have yes, not, have. actually, I didn't yes. know that. Yeah. But hopefully in the future, soon. Now this is old school Man United, but uh, <laughs> David better. Beckham, are you aware of the David Beckham documentary yes, out there? Yes, I just finished it. Did you? Unreal. I just finished episode three. And I love it too. Chills. Isn't it great? So awesome. Did you learn a lot you didn't know? Yeah, I didn't know if you went through all that. Yeah. Like, it's incredible, but it yeah. is an awesome show. It's great. All right, question. You watch it. <laughs> <laughs> a little plug. Uh, it is really good. Uh, question number 10. Coolest place you've visited? It could be anywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. I've been to 14 countries, so I've been to a lot. But I think the coolest place is probably Brazil. Mm -hmm. We went to Brazil, me, my brother, and my mom and dad for the World Cup. And that was just unreal. It's it's awesome. It's so cool down there in the atmosphere, like at the World Cup was incredible. I lived in Brazil for two years. 
Liar. I did. <laughs> uh, question number 11. It's our last question already. Uh, what do you like most about playing for head coach Jennifer Rockwood here at BYU? Oh my gosh, there's so many good things about her, but I just think she's just a mentor, a person I look up to. I mean, she's just a go around here and just playing for her is unreal. And she's like my second mom, I think. Um, mm -hmm. I can go to her for anything and for advice, but she's awesome and she's a great person to play under. Ellie, great answers. Thank you. Really good. Uh, <laughs> this is the starting 11. And we tend to finish after starting with those 11 questions with something about uh, our next game, BYU's next game, and that's Monday night against Oklahoma here in the Sooner State. Uh, you had some good luck in Oklahoma last week, uh, beating Oklahoma State uh, 3-0, and now you have the Sooners, and this is the stretch run, two games left, you're playing for seeding, uh, still the championship hopes as well. Sure. Uh, it's a fun time of year, isn't it? Yeah, it's awesome. I think we're super excited, and I think just bringing that mentality from Oklahoma State into this game, just knowing what we're capable of and putting the game away early think we're going to do and road to Big 12 championship, so we're excited. You excited for the postseason to a Big 12 tournament and NCAA tournament? Oh yeah, that. that's the best time of the year. Emotions are high, but I think, like I said, this team is super capable of something great and we're on the road, so. All right, thanks for chatting. Thanks, Greg. Great go. job. He's the go. <laughs> All right, <laughs> don't go anywhere. Uh, for Ellie Walbrook, oh, no. my name is Greg Rubel. This has been the Starting 11. Go Cougs.